All right, so now I'm uh, demonstrating activity number two. Um, this is going to be looking at osmosis, and we're going to be using these things called dialysis tubes. And these are to represent the semi-permeable membrane. So my tubes have been soaking in water for about a minute, okay? And they're going to be nice and wet. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to try to dislodge the two sides of the membrane from each other. So as you can see, I'm just rubbing my finger Okay, and then you rub your finger all the way down the, the dialysis tube. So you separate both sides of the tube from each other. Okay. All the way to the bottom. Okay, so now I have a nice open tube. Okay. Obviously, the two sides are going to stick to each other, but I have opened them up. All right, so the protocol gives you an option. You can use these clips to tie off the bottom of your tube, or you can tie a knot. I actually kind of recommend doing both if possible. So let's see if I can tie a knot. I haven't tried yet. It's probably gonna be a little bit tricky because it is wet and slippery. But you wanna make sure that you tie off the dialysis tube nice and tight because if it leaks, then your experiment is ruined, okay? So I'm gonna tie a knot, and then underneath my knot, I'm also going to add the little clip. If I can do it, okay, there, all right? So now I have two mechanisms to tie off the bottom of my tube, a knot and the clip, all right? So here, going up to the tube. So if your tube ever gets really dry and stuck together, you can always dip it back into the water to make it um, more wet, and then you can um, rub your fingers to open the tube back up again, okay? All right, so see this nice opening of my tube? So now we have to put 10 milliliters of the 20% sucrose solution inside my tube. So they suggest using a graduated cylinder. I actually suggest using the um, transfer pipette Okay, so here, as before, so this one was used in my 20%, so I'm just going to use it again. As you can see, the top line is one milliliter, so I'm just going to fill it 10 times with this pipette into my tube. Okay, so I'm going to do this really quick. So I want to make sure I'm inside the middle of my tube, and there is one milliliter 10 times. Oh, so now the opening is getting smaller, so I have to open it back up. All right, so we're going to pause and try to open this. So this does require some patience. Okay, so now I got it back open. Okay, so I was on seven. This is... Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so as you can see, I tied it off nice and tight, nothing is leaking. All right, all my solution, my 20% secret solution, is in my tube. And now I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to tie off this end if possible. It says to leave a little bit of an air bubble so the tube will float. So let's see if I can do this. If not, I'm just going to do a clip. So let's see if we can get enough to do a knot. I'm not sure. It's extremely hard with the gloves. All right. I think I'm going to abandon, abandon the knot on the side, and I'm just going to do a clip. If you can do a knot and a clip, do it. If not, we'll just stick with the clip. All right, there we go, nice and tight. Let's test it, see if it's leaking. 
So it seems like mine is leaking a little bit and I think I should have put the two, the end of the tube more inside the clip and I think there's one extra clip. Okay, so I'm going to try this one more time and I'm gonna show you the difference of what I did. If I can do it. Uh, no. There we go. All right. So now you can see the difference is I clipped it in the middle of the clip, okay? So now, yeah, definitely it's not leaking anymore, okay? All right, so you wanna make sure you have a nice sealed bag. If you run out of clips, I highly recommend doing the knot on the bottom and leaving the clips for the top, okay? So here's one tube. I'm going to rinse off the, um, the surrounding um, outside of the tube. That's really important because right now my hands are sticky. I got a bunch of solution on the outside of the tube. I'm gonna rinse it off and show you the next step.